welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another vlog. In today's video, I heard you. I literally took notes on the comments that you all left. You want more lifestyle, you want more hauls, things like that. I did see a lot of family content requests and you guys, I actually decided not to vlog my kids anymore. I show them on Instagram stories. So if you really want family content, go over and follow me on Instagram. I'm usually posting like day in the life, just like lifestyle stuff on stories. So you'll probably see the kids like here and there on stories, but not a full on vlog camera in their face. You know, I don't know. I just kind of had a change of heart on that. So I hope you all understand, but definitely lifestyle content, which brings me to today's video. In today's video, we are going to be going shopping, more specifically Valentine's Day shopping. I want to see what we can find. I ordered a couple sweaters online from Anthropology. So when we get back, I'm going to show you those. But yeah, you guys, today is going to be like, I don't know, like a kickstart of some Valentine's Day content. We're going to shop around together. It should be a good time. If that sounds like something you're interested in, you want to hang out with me today, go shopping with me, check out all the pinks, all the reds, all the florals and hearts, then please just keep on watching. Okay, you guys, first stop is TJ Maxx. I wanted to look over in the clothing section. Sometimes you can find some gems over here. And I was looking at the Valentine's Day sweaters. I thought this one was really, really cute. They actually had a sweater that you could wear with your dog like a like a puppy and me matching sweaters and i thought that was really really cute so if you have a little puppy that would be adorable over here i was looking at the valentine's day earrings and they have a lot of heart ones that i thought were adorable lots of heart socks honestly a lot of this what i was thinking when i was shopping oh hold on those slippers the cherries so cute i might go back and get them they're so adorable but if you were having like a festive valentine's like a galentine's a little party a little get together maybe you have kids you want to put together little valentine's baskets maybe for yourself or you want to gift one to a friend i just think these little items little trinkets here at tj maxx are perfect these candles are so pretty like around your bathtub like a romantic bubble bath be super cute i love these pillows as well love the shades i was thinking oh i could probably put these in the playroom but i also like these pillows over here the checkered print is very trendy very in and i feel like pillows small little decor items are a great way to incorporate trends so i thought this would be really really cute I know for me, I'm trying to obviously like shop for Valentine's, but make it like realistic that I could transition into spring. How cute are those mugs? I thought they were adorable. And I love this one too with the little hearts inside. That would be really cute for like a teacher if you wanted to gift them, you know, a little mug. This candle, so pretty. This is what I mean. That could transition. Like I would actually keep that out like pretty much year round. This I thought was really, really cute. And then these frames over here, I ended up getting both of them spoiler alert i thought they were beautiful like very romantic moody i'll explain more in the haul but i just i had to there were only two there i couldn't decide which one i liked more so i was like you know what you're coming home with me and then the this rug over here this valentine's day rug i thought was cute like a little girl's room like an apartment a playroom like something young and youthful i think that would be really really sweet or not or in your space whatever you want to do the kids section over there i was thinking for the kids for valentine's day like putting little v-day buckets together and have cute little accessories um okay now we're actually in home goods and they have a ton of valentine's day stuff they had way more than tj maxx i loved these mugs i thought they were really really cute these candles i thought these candles would be really nice if you were gonna do like a charcuterie board that's what i kept thinking this entire time like when looking at the valentine's day section in home goods if you're putting together a charcuterie board decorating for a, a party having like a themed night that they've got you covered they have everything you need looking in the stationary section over here which i rarely do but i was like mm, let me check it out T look at all this tons of stuff like near the kitchen tons of little utensils i thought these gold ones were gorgeous honestly might go back and get them i should have got them they're the only ones they're not going to be there these little measuring spoons how cute like all these different little mugs very festive very fun and yeah i'm just like scrolling scrolling 
Tell me you're chronically online without telling me you're chronically online. I am not scrolling. I am shopping. I'm actually in real life. <laughs> anyway, I'm looking at all these different like Valentine's Day things and then candles. So they had a lot of different like pink candles, which I thought would be cute. Okay. The clearance section, it's junky. Let's just call it what it is. It's very junky, but you can find gems in there and like one off different pieces same with the frames. Well, no, not same with the, it's not junky at all. I don't know why I said that. Not same with the frames, but the frames are actually very organized, but you can get like a cluster of them put together like wall art would be very, very sweet. I am on the hunt for a heart picture frame. I think that would be really cute. Not just for Valentine's day, but I had an aunt and she kept a picture of her husband in a heart picture frame. And I just want to carry out that tradition. So I was looking over there for that. They didn't have anything. Shopping, window shopping a little bit over here in this section. Because I really don't need anything. But I'm the type of shopper that if something jumps out at me, I'm putting it in the basket. Whether I was looking for it or not. The store is going to tell me what I need. All of these pillows. Home Goods had a bunch of pillows. Lots of festive Valentine's Day ones. I thought this one was really cute. The floral heart one, I thought that could transition into springtime. And I just think they're really beautiful. Lots of different shapes. I don't know if you saw up there, there was like a butterfly shaped pillow that I thought was really cool and really different. Home Goods always has unique little finds. And I was really happy with the selection. So just looking over here at some of the furniture. I never really get furniture from there. Oh my gosh, you guys, this, I should have got this. This cream beige like container, how gorgeous. I might go back and get that. That's so pretty. It's right up my alley. I loved it. Okay guys, we are back home and I wanted to show everything that I purchased while we were out. So it is haul time of all of the Valentine's Day goodies that we picked up. Some of the things are not Valentine's Day related, but I couldn't resist. So let's get into the haul. Okay, so the first thing I got is actually for the kids. It's a little Valentine's Day book. It's little blue trucks, Valentine's. We have a couple of these already. So so when I saw this for only $9, I was like, I have to pick this up. Then next up, I got some socks. Like how cute are these? With like the little hearts. It's like a little sprinkle of Valentine's. Like it's not anything like over the top. I just thought they were really cute. So this pack is a pack of five. And let me see. Okay, so it's just like some striped ones here. Some like literal plain ones with just like the red toe. The heart right there I thought was really, really cute i don't know i just think that these are adorable gap makes really good quality stuff like i love gap then i got these ones here which i think are super cute they're very fun lots of hearts these are for around the house just chill and relax in they have grippies on the bottom and then these like checkered print ones right here that are more of like a softer print with like this soft pink and i think they're really really cute gonna be really cozy for this valentine's season around the house I love it. Okay, and I'm really disappointed that there was only one of these. I would have loved like a set of four or more. I would have gone crazy. Maybe, I don't know, I'll head to like another one to see or see if I can find these online somewhere. But they just have like these raised hearts around the cup. And I think this is just so cute. I'm picturing like kombucha in this, like some sort of like, I don't know, just like fresh juice, mocktail situation, iced tea, anything. Like I think it would be really, really cute cute you could garnish this and just have it be a moment i just love the hearts this is so girly it's not too much if you really want just like a little hint of valentine's like not anything crazy you don't want red you don't want pink i feel like this is a great option okay and then this is not valentine's related at all but at home goods i picked up another coffee table book i loved the print like i don't have any books like this i thought this was really really pretty and i loved the side like like this just looks very spring to me. Actually, maybe that's what I'll do. I'll probably just save this for like springtime decorating and I'll keep it because it's kind of like a floral. I don't know, something about it just screams spring to me. So I really like this book. I'm gonna keep it to decorate later, but I had to pick it up. Okay, next up are all of these candlesticks. So what I wanna do is film and do some Valentine's Day like DIYs. I have a couple in mind that I think are gonna turn out really, really good. One of them being, I saw on Pinterest, girls like painting candlesticks because
is you guys my new year's not resolution but goal is to get into more hobbies like when someone asks me kara what do you do for fun i want to have like a solid answer of like a couple of things that i genuinely like to do and i have hobbies and i have other interests besides mom life wife life work life like i need something that's just me that's flourishing so i want to get into hobbies and diys if you're a diy girly if you have a lot of like hobbies that you're crafting making things let me know what you're into what you're obsessed with because i'm in the market so i saw on pinterest as i was looking up diys hobbies all that fun stuff that the girlies are painting these candlesticks so i want to get some paint i kind of spoiled it <laughs> for the diy video but just just still watch that video so i still want to get so i i really want to get paint and paint these like cute little things maybe just like designs and have it out for valentine's day in like candle stick holders i think it would be so pretty and just lighting them oh i don't know if you can paint them and light them i don't know if they're functional after you paint them i'll have to look into that but that's kind of the vision i had with these okay next up going along with my hobbies i follow this girl i'm obsessed with her on i follow her everywhere tiktok instagram youtube like the whole nine her username is cozy k her name is kennedy and she talked about how she has a cozy free time basket with like different coloring books like different activities in this basket so when she has free time to do her hobbies they're all together in like a basket and i was like that's genius and not only does she have like crafty things like coloring books like fun journals and things like that she also has like snacks like she'll put snacks in there she'll put a sheet mask like a face mask so it's just her free time basket which is genius. So I wanted to pick one up. I like the print on this. I thought this was really cool and different. And I plan on putting like a coloring book, like pretty much what she did. And yeah, so I just had to pick this up. This was fairly inexpensive. Well, $10. I feel like you could find this cheaper, but anyway. So to keep with the hobby theme, I got a sticker book. Well, I got two little sticker books. I figure like, I don't know what I'm gonna do with these. I drew a blank just then. I don't know how I'm gonna use these, but I'm gonna use them. I'm gonna get creative, maybe do a little like drawing. Like I'm really trying to focus on things that I like and getting to know me outside of motherhood and work life. So I wanna do different things that I used to do. So I used to love crafts i used to love art and getting creative so i wanted to just pick up these stickers and see if i can just like spark my imagination so i picked up these these were a home goods find but you know how home goods has like stationery that's where i found these and they're really cute like the stickers inside are just adorable and i don't know even if i just put them like in my planner i just think they're cute they're fun like it's lighthearted. it's everything that i'm trying to encompass basically and then i picked up some pens i just thought these were beautiful like the green i'll just keep them in my office can never go wrong with pens oh my gosh you guys how cute are these these heart coasters these are going in my office can you imagine this is what this is what it's gonna give this down on the desk with this glass with some kombucha so cute like so so cute so girly so adorable so festive without it being too loud like i absolutely love these i think they're so adorable Okay, and speaking of drinks, I picked up two mugs. Are you kidding? How cute! They're adorable. They look like they're different shades, but I, yeah, I think it's just the lighting. They're the exact same mug. They're so cute. Like, I just love the hearts. I love everything about this. I can't think of anything that I don't love about it. It's a heart shape. It's so cute. It's giving the little heart candies, like, be mine, love always, like, just sipping my tea. This is adorable. I just love these. Actually, the back of these. I don't know. Did your mind go there? My mind kind of went there when I saw the back of these mugs, like that that thing. Okay, let me stop. Anyway, so I just think it's like really, really cute. It's fun. It's festive for the holidays. I just really like these. They're so girly. Like, stop. I'm gonna make Rob like when we have like our mornings together. If we want to have morning tea together, I'm gonna make him drink out of this too because it's just so 
cute. Okay, next up, I got some art, some wall art. I kind of have a vision for decorating for Valentine's that it's not gonna be like the traditional, like, love this. Like, I really want it to be like romantic. Like, I'm trying to get a romantic vibe going in my house. So I picked up this wall art. It's these flowers. Look how beautiful this is. I just, this is what I'm trying to encompass. And the other art piece too. Like this is just so pretty, like the pink, the vase. I honestly want this floral arrangement as well. So I just think this is so pretty. I kind of am thinking I want to like layer art in front of like the mirrors in my house, like the mirrors on my mantle. I'm thinking putting a piece of art in front of it here. Oh no, it's the glare if you can see, but it is beautiful. I love the gold frame. Like everything about this is so pretty. And then then I picked up this one that's more of like a painted, like it looks like kind of like a canvas. I love this one, like the dark florals, the dark vase that it's in, like the dark background, very romantic, very like vampy, moody. I love it. I love the gold frame, of course. I think this is gonna look really, really pretty. If my vision comes to life correctly, this is gonna like fit into the space and just like warm it up and make it look romantic and just like perfect for Valentine's day like flowers valentine's day of course so yeah you guys that is it that's everything that i bought in oh actually i wanted to show you two sweaters come on we're gonna do the sweaters upstairs okay guys i'm taking you i'm taking you upstairs because the sweaters are over here Woo! it's bright hopefully that's okay okay so i have been on a sweater kick. As you can tell, I've been like getting some funky, like really fun ones, but okay. So the first one, it's pink. Okay, if you were waiting for color on the channel, here it is. I'm like entering my colorful era as I'm in like black and white, but I promise you I'm trying. Okay, it's baby steps, I'm trying. And I just jumped straight in with this bright pink sweater that says love on it. Something about this called to me. Like it was screaming, Kara, add me to your cart. And I said, okay. So I picked this up. I just have a vision for this, like with a little skirt with like some knee high little boots. I don't know. I just think this is really, really cute. It's adorable. It's great quality. And I think it's really pretty. Like maybe with like some silver jewelry and this just being the statement, this just being the piece. I think it's really pretty. I feel like you can't go wrong. One thing about me is I love a theme. I love a festive holiday. I love a, oh, we're all doing this this week like I don't know something about it just gets me very excited and I'm a very celebratory person in general so just celebrating the holidays like this time of year like something about it just excites me and it ignites me so had to pick this up and then I also got another valentine sweater this one I feel like is a little bit more actually I don't know if it's more toned down but I really like this I love the hearts on it again with like a little skirt I just think it's really really cute I'm trying to have fun with my fashion this year like that's another goal of mine like having hobbies just being more of like a well-rounded interesting person and I want my fashion to kind of reflect like my fun side I don't know so I just wanted something a little different a little fun a little why not like why not life is short wear the hearts wear the red wear the pink like why not so that's kind of my vibe that's it for this haul I really hope you all like this one i know there was some home content in here but it was a lot of lifestyle kind of low-key sort of a vlog ish so hopefully that like ticked off the boxes for those of you who requested that in the comments i also saw favorites you want to see more of my favorites things that i'm loving so i could definitely start that like i love that idea doing a monthly favorites like og throwback youtube days i used to be obsessed with that that's what really got me into youtube so i would love to start that back up on my channel let me know what you think let me know if you like this video i'm so glad to be back and be posting and filming some fresh new content so i hope you all enjoyed today's video please let me know what you think in the comments if you did please be sure to give this video a thumbs up make sure you subscribe so you hit that no what is it oh my gosh you guys i'm rusty <laughs> make sure you subscribe hit the bell notification so you never miss an upload and we all of my valentine's day goodies we will see you all in the next video thank you so much for watching bye guys